Welcome back. Uh, I'm Mark Trachtenberg, uh, CEO of Telrus, and I would like to talk to you today about the next major step past telepresence. If you remember my last video session, we talked about the value of telepresence, this immersive environment that allows you to meet over distance naturally, like you were face-to-face uh, -face with somebody. Well, there has to be the next step. Um, if telepresence is immersive, is deliver, delivers you that video, audio, and experience quality, we have to be able to deliver somehow the tools that lets us interact over great distances. Telepresence Interact Touch Table is this surface computing environment that allows any type of content, whether it is audio, video, still pictures, Word documents, PowerPoints, anything. And it brings it forth in an environment that is completely unrelated to the computer platform that it was written on. And no, this is not the Microsoft Surface table. This is Telerus's touch surface environment. It is content independent. It allows me to really focus on the content. It is truly uh, um, an environment that delivers content independence with a, um, a natural user interface that really is transparent. And what I mean by natural user interface is that it works like you work. It, 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 it sort of feels right because you're using your hands, you're using your common gestures to allow you to um, interact with stuff that you normally do like you had a piece of paper in front of you. The key thing about this technology is it really tries to emulate and give you additional functionality as if you had that content sitting physically right in front of you. It can be used in a really day-to-day -day fashion where you want to be able to share a presentation, you want to be able to share a document, you want to be able to leaf through pages of having documents in your hand, you want to be able to watch a video or share a video, um, you want to be able to interact with someone across the table as if they had the physical content in front of them. And there's some pretty amazing things one can do, but remember, it has to be done in a very natural way. And when I talk about the difference between GUI, that sort of graphical user interface and this idea of this sort of natural or human interface, the difference is striking. You are not instructing a computer to do something. You are not trying to find ways to bridge your communication gap with the computer. What you're doing here is simply manipulating the content. Let's show you what it's like. So this is, as I said, the Telerus uh, Interact touch table. And again, just to be clear, it's not the Microsoft product, and Cisco did not invent it. And I want to show you about how we take some simple content. So I'm going to take a, a simple picture, and I'm going to, for the purposes, drag it onto the surface. And this is a still picture. It's a JPEG. And I can resize it. I can move it around, right? And this gives me all sorts of flexibilities, right? I can move it back and forth. I can make it bigger if I, if I need to, make it smaller, move it on the other side. And it's sort of a natural way you would have if you had a, a picture in your hand. Now, I know you've seen this on the Microsoft Park before, so let's get a little more deep into this. Let's park this still image over there. And as remember I said, we can use any content. So let me pull up an HD video. And here is a full-end, full-running HD video. And we can do everything we can to this document that we could to the uh, still document. We can move it around. We can resize it. Full running video. And as I did in the last one, I can simply hold it and then I can simply copy it. And now we have two of the same videos. You notice you can hear the sound. We can each take this document, stop it. He can stop his and I can go ahead and start mine. And I've rewound it now, and now I can go ahead and start it up again. And if you notice, they're laying on top of each other. Notice they're going back and forth. And so this again is content independence. It is simply content being brought forth in this environment. And again, we can throw this away. Carl, why don't you drop your words in the bucket? And I'm just going to go ahead and pause mine. Now let's go ahead and let's bring out a PowerPoint document. And this is a multi-page document, you know. And so imagine that I want to now see the next page of the document. Well, we can hold this document down and we simply can roll through it. We also have the option to print it, copy it, do exactly what we did with the moving image or the still image. But this allows us to do all sorts of very unique things with content that is multi-page, including the ability not only to hand someone on the other side a copy of it, but also to hand them read-only copy. So I can literally go ahead, copy a document, 
give them the read-only version, and when I scroll through this document, it will scroll through also over there, allowing me to be in control. So we have content here, right? This idea of abstract content. We have documents, PowerPoints, Word documents, so on and so forth. But there's no way to edit any of this on this table because this is a content delivery environment. So we have another application here that basically brings up a PC. And we're actually connecting to a PC that is running in the corner. And this is actually a Windows a Vista machine that's running some applications. Um, we can edit and modify those applications, and we can edit our documents on it, but this is not running on this. This is actually a hole. This is actually a, a portal, a hole through to any kind of content. So again, since this is a PC that we have next to the table here, I'm going to grab the PC keyboard. And again, as you can see, I can naturally interact with this PC as if I was sitting there. For example, if I wanted to close this window, I simply point and close. And it's a real live window into the PC or Macintosh or any type of device um, that's off the table. So that's another piece of content that we have. Um, still content, dynamic video content, PDFs, Word documents, and then access to the real operating system. So now I'm going to show you how I take this running video and I'm going to pass to another site. In our environment, Lars or London office is across the table from me. And I'm now going to take this video and I'm going to put it, and I'm now having half between New York and half between London. Now let's cut to London and show you what it looks like. So from the London side, that uh, live running video will come across uh, half in New York and half in London. And the person now in London will like the other side. Just simply grab it, bring it to him, turn it around so we can see it. And he has full control of this piece of content. Now it's on the other side of the ocean. He can do everything that any of the other users can do. For example, he can then go ahead and give a command and copy that document. right? He has that copy document next to him, so he can run it as, as he wants. And now he can handle the, hand the first one back if he wants. And on New York, I can take it back. And we have two separate running versions, however we want. So back here in New York, I simply grab the document back, and we have it back in New York. This enables telepresence. This type of product, this type of solution, enables telepresence.